Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while. I have no excuse. I've just been busy with my beauty brand, planning my wedding. There's just been a lot going on. Haven't really had time slash made time to film. That's my own fault. But I have an empties video for you guys today. I have a bunch of skincare products that obviously I finished. This is going to be mostly a positive video, honestly, because I tried a lot of things that I really, really freaking loved. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna start with a sunscreen. This is the Pyongyang Yule ATO Mild Sun Cream. This is so interesting to me because it's a purely inorganic sunscreen filter sunscreen. So it just has titanium dioxide as the active ingredient that helps, you know, block the UV rays from your skin. Um, and yet this doesn't leave a white cast. It has a very moisturizing effect, which is so interesting because most, you know, sunscreens that have zinc oxide or titanium dioxide or both tend to be very chalky, very drying. They just aren't very cosmetically elegant, but this is so beautiful on the skin. And in fact, I loved it so much that I bought another one and I'm actually almost done with this one too. So that should say a lot because I am very picky about sunscreens. If it leaves a white cast, if it feels if it feels at all in any way gross on my skin, I'm not gonna use it. So I've definitely said goodbye to many sunscreens in the past because I just wasn't vibing with them. And so I feel like with sunscreens, if you find a sunscreen that works really well for you and you apply enough of it because it feels good on your skin, that's a win. So the fact that I bought this and then repurchased it again should tell you a lot. So the next question is, would I repurchase this for a third time? And the answer is actually no, only because the weather is getting much, much hotter. It's actually a very miserable rainy day today, but the weather's getting way, way hotter. It was 90 something degrees the other day. So I'm definitely not in the mood for something as moisturizing as this. I'm actually going to start using my beloved Misha Essence Sun Milk once again, because that sunscreen is just incredible. It, it's so non-greasy and it doesn't leave a white cast and it spreads so easily and I can apply a ton of it and it won't feel nasty on my skin. So. I love that sunscreen. So because the weather's getting hotter, I'm gonna start transitioning to that more matte sunscreen. But if you have like extremely dry skin, if the weather is not super hot where you live yet, this is such a great pick, especially because a lot of people can be sometimes sensitive to organic sunscreen filters. This doesn't have organic sunscreen filters. It just has that titanium dioxide filter. So if that's something you care about, this is a great pick. So the next product, really surprised me, really surprised me. I am not one for eye creams. I don't care about eye creams. I'm not into eye creams. And yet I finished an entire eye cream. This is the Avrani Eye Rejuvenating Elixir with sweet almond oil, rose water, and avocado oil. I loved this. So first of all, can we just appreciate the packaging and how beautiful it is? It's in this like glass, really like heavy, luxurious kind of weighty bottle. I love the blue packaging also. It's just so beautiful. That's the thing with all of Ronnie products. It has such a luxe experience. It is more of a higher price point, but to me, it's kind of worth it because the ingredients are just so beautifully formulated together. I love the branding. I love the marketing. I love the packaging. This is something interesting that I've been learning about um, you know, beauty products in general, as I have my own beauty brand, is that packaging is really expensive and it can be very hard to source. And so when I see something like this, something so unique, so beautiful, and I see the price point, I'm like, that makes sense because packaging is really hard to find something unique and something really creative. Um, and also if you do find something that's really creative and really unique and really weighty and luxurious like this, it is going to cost a pretty penny. So that was just some fun e-commerce insight. <laughs> Texturally, this eye cream is super lightweight and yet so, so moisturizing. I would show you, but I completely finished it. Um, this is something that I really prefer in my eye creams. I prefer my eye creams to definitely be on the more moisturizing side because my under eye area does get a little bit dry throughout the day and night. So I like to have my eye creams feel substantial. I don't like them to be kind of a gel texture. Although that being said, the Good Molecules Yerba Mate Eye Gel that is an amazing, amazing product. I love using that in the morning though. More is like a pick me up in the morning more than anything. I don't really use it for the skincare benefits necessarily. It's just because it feels really cooling and refreshing under the eye area. But anyway, I digress. Back to this eye cream. I really like this because it was lightweight, moisturizing, fragrance free, which I think is important in a eye cream because this area is pretty delicate and you Sometimes fragrance is like not the best move for the eye cream. I also love the fact that this has a pump packaging. I think that is so great because 
eye creams that are in like little jars tend to be kind of unsanitary. There is extensive amount of testing that skincare brands do in order to make sure that their product is not easily contaminated. That's why we have preservatives. But at the same time, this just makes me feel a little bit better. I like this kind of like airless pump packaging more than anything. That being said though, I do find that this did dispense a lot of product, like more than I needed for my under eye area, which is not a big deal because this texture is so beautiful. I just used the rest of it, dotted on my face as kind of like a pre-moisturizer moisturizer. Now, would I repurchase this? The honest answer is no, only because I'm currently working through another eye cream. I'm working through this Yes 2 Avocado Fragrance-Free Daily Eye Cream. Obviously, these two are incredibly different. The price points are super different. The texture is super different. This is more lightweight and creamy, whereas this one is very, very thick. So, they're very different, but they do have the same pump packaging, which is awesome. But I would definitely repurchase this in the future if I don't have an eye cream in my arsenal. I would definitely go back to this one. I just really had a great experience with it. By the way, if you do want to pick up anything from Marani, I do have a code. I think it's Kaya15, if I'm not mistaken. I will put it in the info box down below because I don't remember off the top of my head. It's been a while since I filmed a video. I don't know what any of my codes are. So anyway, this is a really unique product in my opinion. I love this brand and... That's that on that. Okay, next we have the Glow Recipe, what is this called? Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. So I actually did a comparison video of this product with a bunch of other Sol de Janeiro, not a bunch, two other Sol de Janeiro products, their Bum Bum Cream and their Bum Dia Cream. So if you wanna see a comparison of this body cream to some Sol de Janeiro products, I'll link that video down below. But this body lotion, oh my God, so good. I don't even know where to start. The texture of it is so creamy and moisturizing, but not greasy, not sticky. The scent is something so special. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher in the best way. Like it just feels like such a treat after I get out of the shower and I put this on. It has a pump packaging, which is obviously my favorite kind of packaging. And I loved it so much after I finished it, I bought another one. So very committed to this. I would definitely repurchase this, honestly. I do kind of want to try the Josie Maron Pro Retinol Body Cream, but right now I'm probably just going to pick up another one of these because I absolutely love it. It makes me want to moisturize my body after I get out of the shower because, you know, it can be kind of a pain in the booty to have to sit there and moisturize your whole body, especially if you're tired, especially if you know you have a lot of work to get to um, in the morning or at night. If you're really sleepy and you just want to pass out. There's something special about having a body cream that makes you excited to moisturize your skin. I know that sounds really silly, but I'm all about my skincare being really enjoyable and really fun and really relaxing and just having like a really great overall experience. So when I find a body cream like this that makes me motivated to moisturize my body, it's a win. Okay, next we have a face cleanser. This is the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser. I don't know if you can tell, but this, this is so empty. <laughs> I really did my best to squeeze every single drop out of this and after I film this video I'm actually gonna cut the top off so I can get the rest of it out but I did not expect to love this as much as I loved it. I thought this was more of like an oily skin cleanser, but that's not true. This was so amazing. It has the same green clean scent as their cleansing balm, which is just so refreshing, so indulgent, so yummy. I love that scent. That being said, this doesn't do a great job of removing makeup, so I definitely only used this as a morning cleanse. I just kept this in the shower and I used it as my morning cleanse every single morning. It leaves my skin clean, but not too clean. And I talk about this over and over again, but that squeaky clean feeling that you can get sometimes on your skin it's not a good idea you're probably stripping your skin of too much oil even though i really 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 love this cleanser and i used it very religiously every morning i probably won't repurchase this only because i'm very capricious with cleansers and i don't like to commit to cleansers for the most part there's only one cleanser i've ever really repurchased over and over again that's the purity face cleanser by philosophy but any other cleanser, I really haven't ever repurchased, I don't think. I'm just, I'm not very loyal with cleansers. What can I say? I like to play with different cleansers. I like to experiment with them. Because I feel like cleansers is like the one category where you can get really creative with like the fragrance and the texture and stuff. Even though I really enjoyed this, I probably won't repurchase it. But don't let that stop you from trying this. This is so delightful, especially as we move into the summer months. I think this is really appropriate for like the summer vibes. Okay, we have another pharmacy product. This is, okay, so I'm calling this an empty. It's not technically empty. It's 
almost empty. I think I have maybe four or five more uses. So this is a Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This is so incredible. It is packed full of really rich, nourishing, soothing, reparative ingredients like the ceramides, which are just such an incredible ingredient to work into your daily skincare routine. I felt like with this moisturizer, I could skip all the other steps. I could just cleanse and then use this straight away. No serum, no toner, nothing. I could just use this and I felt like my skin was being adequately nourished with enough good ingredients. This is so rich in moisturizing. It spreads really easily though, which I think I really like because there are some moisturizers that are just a little too thick, a little too rich, and it's very hard to spread them on your skin without tugging your skin. So I really liked how this spread really easily. It just kind of melted into your skin, which I love the experience of. This is definitely a pricier product. I think it is absolutely worth the money though, in my opinion. I, this was a PR product though, I didn't actually buy it, um, but I think I would repurchase it in the winter time. Because the weather is getting hotter, I'm going to start using more lightweight moisturizers as opposed to this, which is quite rich and occlusive and yet melty. <laughs> But I would definitely repurchase this if the weather was colder, but because the weather is getting like really freaking hot, I'm probably gonna go for a different moisturizer, but this is so, so incredible. Okay, and then I have one makeup item just for fun. Um, this is the Hourglass Caution Mascara, and I am wearing it on my eyes today along with our new Musée Beauty Rococo Palette, which is just incredible. So this is a mascara that I keep running to. I will try other mascaras, I'll experiment with other ones, and I'll be like, nope, I don't like it. I'm going back to this one. There's just something about this that is so special to me. It's so volumizing, and that's something that's very personal to every single person, like what you prefer in your mascara. Some people want the lengthening effect, some people want their lashes to be really curled, some people want a lot of volume. So I can't really speak to the curling effect because I do have kind of naturally curled lashes, like my, my lashes just do that. Um, so I really look for volume. I like to have really chunky, thick, fluttery, volumized lashes. That is my favorite look on myself. I love this mascara. I just wanted to throw it out there. If you're interested in a great, great kind of bougie mascara, this is a fantastic one. If there is a drugstore dupe, if you know of a drugstore dupe, please let me know because this is kind of painful to be repurchasing all the time because this is quite expensive. So those were all my empties from the past couple months. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Really quickly, I wanted to update y'all on some personal stuff. Um, so as of yesterday, May 27th, I actually celebrated my first year of being in business. Exactly a year ago, my sister and I launched our beauty brand, Musée Beauty, which is just so crazy to me. It's been a whole year of banging my head against a wall. Like honestly, I've learned more in the past year of running a beauty brand from scratch than I have probably in my whole four years of chemical engineering school, two years of working in tech. Um, it's just been so incredibly crazy because when you're forced to do things on your own and figure it out and there's no manual for like, this is how to start a brand, you're forced to learn so, 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 so much. It's been such a great experience Obviously I've had like really hard days and like it's obviously a very lonely journey of starting a brand because not many other people do this. Um, but that being said, I do want to do more kind of like informational videos about what it's like starting and scaling a beauty brand from scratch. I think it's really interesting and it's content that I personally watch. I'll be honest with you, I don't watch skincare videos. I just don't. I don't think it's very interesting. I don't think it's fun. I prefer watching more self-development videos, e-commerce videos, entrepreneurship videos. Those are the things that I like watching and I want to try my hand at it. I think I'll probably start with like a day in the life of a e-commerce founder kind of video so you, I can just kind of walk you through what a typical day. By the way, there is no typical day. My days are so crazy. <laughs> But I feel like there's so much interesting stuff to talk about with regards to product development, customer experience, marketing especially. Um, so that's definitely something that I think I can tie into my channel and have it be interesting and relevant for you guys. Obviously, if you are interested in starting your own beauty brand, let me know in the comments down below because I think I just want to gauge like kind of how much of my existing audience is interested in this kind of content. If it's not your thing, that's totally fine. I will still do skincare content, but I think a lot of you guys are interested in kind of the behind the scenes, like the real raw behind the scenes, not rehearsed, not like, ah, I did this, this, and this, and then I had a six-figure business, ta-da. 
but like the real behind the scenes of running a beauty brand as someone who doesn't have a degree in marketing i don't have an mba like i have no experience with this at all i have a degree in chemical engineering for crying out loud so yeah i think that could be potentially very interesting let me know your thoughts but with all that being said thank you all so much for watching and spending this time with me have a beautiful week and i'll see you in my next video bye